RLC Kids, it's me, Pastor T. In just a couple of minutes, my kids will be here to tell you how you can enter to win our November drawing for a Polar Express train set from Lionel. That is going to look awesome around the Christmas tree. Now, we've been talking about how stuff happens, but Jesus changes everything. But what about when stuff happens and it wrecks our plans? What about when? unplanned stuff happens. I know some people love doing unplanned things, but we all have things we want to do in life and sometimes those things get interrupted. And that's what I want to chat with you about today. In Luke chapter 2, we read about a group of people who had a plan. Their plan? Protect the sheep. We call these people shepherds. They were keeping watch in the field by night, which means they were probably taking turns staying awake to make sure that no wolves or other predators were there to harm their sheep. And they had to keep a close eye because it was pretty dark. But there in the moonlight, bum, 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 their plan changed. Something happened. And you know what it was? An angel happened. That's right. An angel appeared in front of him and said, don't be afraid. That's usually what angels say because most of the time we don't expect to see angels. So when we do see one, we might be afraid. And this angel said, hey, I've got some great news. It's going to bring a lot of joy to like everybody. Tonight, the Savior is born. Well, that was awesome news. Then we're told that a whole army of angels came together and began to shout and sing and talk about how awesome God is. You see, this is a pretty awesome moment in the lives of these shepherds because they were used to just hanging out with their sheep and just kind of doing their shepherd thing. But now they're told that a baby was born who would be the savior of the world. And if you're wondering who that is, his name's Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> you knew that, didn't you? I figured you did. But here's the thing. When the angels all disappeared, the shepherds looked at one another and they said, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened. This thing? This thing? The whole world has changed because God sends his one and only son? You see, the shepherds had a plan, and from them we can learn that we can go ahead and plan, but we have to expect interruptions. You see, they didn't expect an angel to interrupt them. They thought maybe a wolf would, but they expected that something was going to happen that they couldn't plan for. And once that happened, they had to adapt. It's important for you and me to do just what those shepherds did when they got up and headed to Bethlehem, adapt as God leads. I don't know if they just said, all right, all you sheep get in close. We're going to go see the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. That's what they called Jesus. And it's interesting that Jesus was born in a stable where maybe some of those very sheep had been born. And he was laid to rest in a manger. A manger is just an animal's food dish. Maybe those sheep out in the field with those shepherds had eaten from the very dish where Jesus would lay and rest on the night that he was born. But when the shepherds went to Bethlehem, they found Jesus just as the angel had told them. You see, God does all the things that he promises and he sees things we don't see. So we can go ahead and plan, but we have to expect interruptions and be ready to adapt as God leads. Here's Pastor Ani to tell you how you can choose to follow Jesus today. Choosing to follow Jesus is as easy as ABC. The letter A stands for admit that you've sinned. You know, we've all made bad choices. The letter B stands for believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sin. And the letter C stands for choose and that's what you can do today by simply repeating this prayer after me. Would you close your eyes, put your chin to your chest, and let's talk to Jesus together. Dear Jesus, I admit that I have sinned and I ask you to forgive me. I believe that you died on the cross for my sin and today I'm choosing to follow you. Thank you Jesus for loving me and for making me your forever friend. In Jesus name, Amen. That is so awesome if you prayed that prayer with me today. Have your parents help you email us at kids at rlclodi.com.
If you just made that decision to follow Jesus, I want you to know that you can not only go to see him like the shepherds did, but we get to live with Jesus forever in heaven and we get to enjoy life with Jesus today. Now, here are my kids, Abigail and Zachary, to tell you how you can enter to win that November drawing for a Lionel train set. Hey, Mac and Cheese. Today's question is from Luke chapter two. What shown around the shepherds? It's that easy to enter to win this Polar Express train set from Lionel. Just turn to Luke chapter two and answer this simple question. What shone around the shepherds? Ask mom and dad to help you send an email to kids at rlclodi.com. Be sure to include your name, your age, your grade, and the answer to this simple question. What shone around the shepherds? And remember that you can come close to Jesus, experience his love, and enjoy his presence in your life.